All right, it's about 2.45 in the morning, July 27th, 2015, and this is CP666 signing on for a bit of a video that is unlike most of the videos that I make. You see, I had a little bit of an incident today with spindle CDs. Here's a spindle. Or what's left of it, I suppose. I should probably turn another light on so you can see a bit more. Alright, there's a bit more light. You can see the spindle a little bit better. It's going to actually focus on it. So this was sitting right about here on top of this DVD player, and I'd done something. I don't remember what it was. And it fell off, knocked over a can of pop. Fortunately, it was not, didn't have a lot of pop in it, and nothing important got too wet. But it ticked me off when it did that. So what I did, I took the spindle, I'll just use this as an example, took it, I threw it on the floor pretty hard. But I was expecting, because this is pretty flexible plastic, Oh, I take that back. I thought it was pretty flexible plastic. But even still, I thought that it wouldn't break. So I threw it on the floor with some vengeance and told it that that's what I thought about it. Well, lo and behold, stupid thing breaks, and with it, it breaks a whole bunch of my CDs. Brand new. Not exactly high-quality media, but they weren't cheap. Fortunately, it didn't break every disc, and I've still got the majority of them. However, I want to tell you something. There's one thing that I have to say about this. Borrow a phrase, I ain't having it. Where's my hammer? Here we can see this one, which already has a chunk taken out of it. We'll see just how resilient it is to being hammered and smashed. Not really resilient at all. This is all that's basically left of it. How about another one? see sort of what it's doing. The camera would focus on it, maybe. Actually, I got a better idea. Let's just take them all at once. See how it handles it. It's probably worth noting. People are trying to sleep. So this might not be a good idea. But I'm gonna let this crap have it because I'm not very happy. Actually, take a look at this bottom one. It's actually bent now that I did that. Probably won't be able to see it on camera. I'll just show some of these afterwards. If you think I'm done there, oh no, I'm not done yet. Still got. I'm probably going to get hurt doing this, which is why I suggest to you that if you're going to do this, wear some protective, like, I don't know, wear a jock strap really if you want to do this. I guess if you want to be safe, wear, at least wear eye protection. That's really, they're really starting to get broken now. Alright, I think we're pretty much, that's all that it's going to do, so... Now let's get to the meat of this. Get this thing, because this is the thing that pissed me off the most. I think that's probably super. There you go. That's exactly what happens when things piss me off.
All right, let's get a closer look at some of the shrapnel. First of all, sorry about the wind noise in the background. Excuse me, there's not much I can do about that. This is what happened to the spindle. This is what's left. Like I said, it's fairly resilient. You can't really make this thing explode to a million pieces, but... I would have hoped that it exploded into a million pieces. But it didn't. So let's throw that in the trash. All of this in the trash. Here's another piece. Didn't even throw it in the trash. How nice is that? Here's what's left of the CDs. See, some of them are still whole. There's some dents in them. I don't know why the camera's not focusing on it, though. Some more shrapnel. It's actually kind of, uh, it's not s sort of flat anymore. That one's flat. It's all the same media. This one actually kind of survived. You can see that's actually kind of a cool crack that made. It's all the same media. It's all Philips 700 megabyte 52x CD recordables. I think I bought a 50 pack of these. Can't remember what I paid. Probably 50 bucks. This media is not cheap around here. Looks like somebody took some bites out of this one. And the rest of these, I mean, yeah, you can see there. Not much left. I can't imagine there's a CD player that would be able to play these, let alone a recorder that would be able to record anything to these. That just fell off in my hand while I was trying to put that one in the trash. Okay, here's two other pieces from the first one that I smashed. Here's another piece from the first one that I smashed. You can see it's kind of bent. Can't imagine there'd be anything that would be able to record this. Of course, the camera won't even focus on it. You can see it's shedding its recordable material all over my hand. Yeah, I don't think any of these you can record to anymore. I'm pretty sure a piece actually flew off over in this direction. But I can't find it. Oh, here it is. If I can reach. Here we are. There you have it. Smashing some CDs. I'm sure you wanted to see that. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And uh, this is CP666 signing off. I hope to see you next time. Till then.